Little Angels Phonics Reading Level 2 For Dreamers Tuba, Lesson number what? Lesson number 7 Page number 31 31, yeah So let's read it Ot, 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 pot, 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 pot. This one is number one. Pot, 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 uh -huh. pot, hot, ha, ot, hot, ha, ot, hot, pot, hot, pot, pot, dot, da, ot, da, ot, dot, dot. Do you know dot? A small yeah. dot. Yeah. When the sun is shining, the sun goes down and becomes smaller. Mm. Now the next page. Up, up, up. up, up. Up top. Ta up top. To up top. Read again. Up up to up top. To no, up the top. examples. To up top. Mo up mop. Ha ha. Up hop. Ha up pop. Top mop hop pop. Top mop hop pop. <coughs> so we are done with this lesson too. Oh, I want to read this one uh, later. But uh, would you would you tell a a very nice story? Yeah, I know a story about a little red riding for the three bears. Mommy, a baby, and a daddy. I will tell the story for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your story? Tell. Uh, okay, guys, if you want to hear it, I hope you enjoy this video. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She has her mom and her mom made for her grandma some cookies. Cookies? Yeah. Okay. Cookies. And then her mom say, Little Red Riding Hood, you need to get these cookies to your grandma. Little Red Riding Hood said, Okay, Mom, I will. That time, Little Red Riding Hood go put, his, put her bow and went off. At that time, when she was going out, she went to pick some flowers for her grandma too. And her mom also gave her a basket, so the cookies were in the basket. She also put the flowers in the basket. And then, the... One day, there was a big, bad wolf. Guys, did you remember that I tell a story about three little pigs and big, bad wolf? That, that's the same. Okay, then I'll tell you in lesson number two. The wolf slept two times. Okay, guys, listen to the story. Then one day, the big, bad wolf came to Little Red Riding Hood. And that time, the wolf said, Hey, little girl, where are you going? The wolf said, I'm going to visit my grandma. And then the wolf said, can I go too? And the wolf went, he see the basket and said, what's inside that basket? Little Red Riding Hood said, there's some cookies, you want some? The wolf said, can I have one piece, please? Little Red Riding Hood thought that these were these her grandma, so she forgot it and put one piece to the wolf. But the wolf was very evil, and Little Red Riding Hood began to leave. And then the wolf just followed. The wolf hurry up and go to her grandma's house and just wrapped her mouth with tape and put her in the closet. And then the wolf dressed up like her mom, like her grandma. And then Little Red Riding Hood approached her grandma. And when she see her grandma had big ears and said, Grandma, why do you have big ears? And the wolf said, pretendly, because I have, because I can hear you. And when, when the when Little Red Riding Hood see that her grandma's nose was really long, and he also said, Grandma, why are your nose really, really long? 
wall. And the rough wolf says piggly because I can smell you. And when little Red Riding Hood see that the wolf has long teeth and said, Grandma, why do you have long, 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 long teeth? And the wolf said, because I can eat you. And then little Red Riding know that it was the wolf, but he was evil. So she began to say, There was a wolf hunter there and he heard Little Red Riding Hood's voice and he began to run, run, run fast as he could and found Little Red Riding Hood and began to charm the wolf. And then, and then the wolf cutter heard Little Riding Hood's voice and just noticed that a little girl was in danger, so he began to run, 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 run as fast as he could. And then he finally reached Little Red Riding Hood's grandma's house. And then he saw that a big bad wolf was trying to eat her. But the wolf, the wolf began to eat her, but the wolf cutter just threw his axe to the wolf's neck. And the wolf began to die. And the little Red Riding Hood noticed her grandma's voice was coming from the closet. And she began to open it and then her grandma said, Thank you, baby. And the little Red Riding Hood said, No problem. You're my best grandma in the whole world. And when her grandma sees those biscuits in the basket, she began to love her and they live happily ever after. But what happened to the wolf? Uh-oh. And then the wolf, the woodcutter was just chomping the wolf and put him to a bowl and just eating him. <laughs> and then Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma and her mommy live happily ever after. But that woodcutter was his grandpa, silly. And then she began to get one cookie in her hand and began to run to, to the woodcutter. And then said, thank you, young man. I give you a biscuit for all this work. And then that, that woodcutter said, you're welcome, but I am your grandpa. Then she thought that she didn't give any biscuit to his grandpa, but his grandpa saved her. And then... His grandpa began to bring wolf meat from the wolf to Little Red Riding Hood. And then Little Red Riding Hood bring his grandpa to the house and then just the safe and said, eat the biscuits with all the family and they live happily ever after tea. And the moral of the story, when there is a big stranger, you must run, run, run as you fast as you can but if the man if that wolf or any scary creatures come eat you you better say help me anybody save me you need to say that talk the end that's that's the story bye bye